Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Got a few things for you today. Eight tracks, unbelievable weekend for us with those. Yard sales have started back up a little bit and we'll do our weekly picks. Give me just a minute, get set up and I'll be right back with you. All right, guys, my name is Max. I am the fast talking flipper. Angie is on her way out here. She will be out here any minute. I, I don't know. She might come in in the middle of the video, might not be here at all. I don't know. She's working her way out. It's a little later in the morning um, and I'm, I'm, I'm late on getting stuff started. So I, I wanted to jump on this before we got too far into the day. Um, we had a killer pickup last week. We picked up about 60 A-Track tapes, and I made a Bolo video about them. So hopefully you've had a chance to watch that. But the Bolo video, um, it showed, you know, what to kind of look for, because I learned a lot about A-Track tapes in that video myself, and I was floored. I knew we would make probably double, triple our money off of them. We paid $100 for about 60 tapes, and in it was just really good names. I'm a, I'm a rock fan. I like heavy metal. I like alternative rock, that kind of stuff. So in it was, you know, Van Halen, Led Zeppelin, uh, David Bowie, stuff like that. And I knew that that was probably going to be a score. Had no idea it was just as much of a score as it was. So we got most of those listed. I think here's, that's all I have left to list, those five right there. And that's probably only $100 or so worth of tapes. But um, man, it, it just took off over the weekend. So I got um, I got those all listed. I'll talk to you about those, uh, tell you about yard sales and whatnot. But I wanted to show you we have 13 items going out for $619. Most of these are the eight track tapes. We sold a couple last week. Um, I think we sold four or five for about $216, I think, right at the end of the week before I, I shut down for the weekend because I shut down on Friday evening. I don't ship anymore past Friday, maybe four o'clock. And then I pick back up on Mondays in the morning. So whatever sells between, you know, late Friday into Monday morning, then I'll ship it out. But uh, that's from what I've got there. Volume is slow still, and it's kind of expected. It's still first quarter. Meh, I'm pretty sure it'll pick up. We haven't really got back to our normal numbers of listings, so I attribute some of that to us not really interacting with the app as much as we had been before. We've got plenty of stuff to list. We are just nitpicking small things. If you look, you know, the, the shed has come a long way. Um, we're actually in here working my dog bed over there for a Kovu and, you know, some of our small areas and trying to, you know, we've got our table built. Um, today my material comes so that I can actually lay this down. It, this folds down here. It comes down, lays in the floor, and then we can lay items down so that we can, um, phot photograph them. We've been working on getting our shipping area together and all our shipping supplies. So that's kind of where our focus has been is trying to tidy this place up. You can see our, our shipping area has come pretty well together. I I really like how it works. You know, I wish I had a little bit more room here, but eh, you know, I'm, I'm splitting hairs. I'm not really concerned with everything there. I've got everything I really need stuffed right here. I need to get finished with my tools and I need to get them out of here so that we can utilize this space for, mater not materials, but uh, all of our inventory. So that's that's one of my next steps. It's just a matter of getting the time to do that because it seems like everybody keeps throwing things at me. I picked up two more cars over the weekend or in the last week, I should say, and you know, I've got to deal with all that stuff too. So to get into our orders, our first item here is the Neo Forza Ram. This actually came with our uh, computer that we bought and uh, I upgraded. I said, I'm not gonna use this. Uh, small six right here. This is our smalls, one of our smalls bins. We want to get a few more of these, but uh, smalls six. This one sold for $14.99 plus shipping. I upgraded our RAM with two 16 gig sticks instead of one 8 gig stick. Uh, this one, K3, is where I'm going to go for this one. It is a Eminem saxophone blue. And I, I picked that up in our M&M lot. Might have a couple dollars for it uh, in, in total. And our um, actual costs. Now, nah, finding it. Good thing these are all plastic, right? Of course, it's always in the last place that you look. Which, dang well, it should be. Because if you keep looking after you find it, there's something wrong with you. Uh, not a big moneymaker. 
Eminem saxophone blue, the Bill Clinton version, sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Our next one is SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. Ooh, this should be fun to find because we haven't gotten our media area together yet. So this is currently our media area and I'm going to have to find it in here. So I'm going to put you down for a minute and uh, go find this, figure out where it's at, and I'll get right back with you. All right, guys, there it is. Bikini Bottom, Battle for Bikini Bottom. It's two games. What's the other one? I can't read it. Yeah, it's another SpongeBob game, but they sold not a ton of money. $25.99. Not a bad sale either. I uh, can't complain with that. Easy to ship. I always like selling video games. Uh, $25.99 plus shipping on those. I think we might have $2 into them total. Next one here, Michael Kors purse. This is a clutch. I picked it up for, oh, this was one of the best yard sales we had last year. I paid, I think, $4 for this guy. And um, at the same yard sale, I picked up is it NCAA 14? I believe it is. Uh, complete in the box. I got it for 50 cents. And what a great score that was. Here it is, right there. Michael Kors little clutch. Gave $4.50. This guy, I think, sells for... F I'll have to look. Before I say what it sold for, I'll get it wrong, I'm sure. Easy shipper, though. It sold for $44.99, so 45 bucks for that guy. Easy ship, going to go first class, right in the bubble mailer. Super simple to, to mail. Now, I'm going to get into my A-Tracks, and I'm not going to sit here and pull everyone with you on the camera just because they're all in here, and there, there's quite a few of them that sold. So give me just a second. Let me get out all of the different ones that sold, and I'll get right back with you. Okay, I am back, and we sold seven 8-Track tapes over the weekend. I, I'm just floored at how many have sold. I think we've sold 11 so far total. And these are the seven that have sold just over since Friday night. Um, the first one is the, De some of these, I, you know, I'm, I'm familiar with Def Leppard, but I had never even heard of some of these albums. And that's probably why they sold. This one, Def Leppard on through the night is the first one that sold for unbelievable $74.99 plus shipping. The next one is the other Def Leppard right above it, the High and Dry, $59.99 plus shipping. Cannot complain one bit on those. I've got a couple more sales that are in between those, but I have to go and find the items, and I'll go back and do that with you. The next one is the Rolling Stones, or excuse me, Journey, Journey Frontiers. That's this one here. Journey Frontiers, $29.99 plus shipping. Another one I had never heard of this before, the Suite. Um, this is a, an early 80s one, and th that's kind of what you want to look for, is any of these bands that would have been big in the 80s. So Def Leppard, Van Halen, those kind of things that would have been bigger in the 80s are seemingly the ones that are worth the most money. The Suite sold for $19.90 plus shipping, and I feel like I probably priced that too low, but I didn't have a whole lot to go on. Even Worth Point didn't have any mentions of that one there. So I was kind of, you know, guessing on where to be with it. Adam Ant is my big hitter. Adam Ant. I, I was shocked. I mean, I, I, you know, I've listened to some Adam Ant and, you know, decent stuff. $89.99 plus shipping. Can't complain one iota with that one. Van Halen, fair warning, $19.99 plus shipping. $19.84 sold this morning. Van Halen, $19.84. $84.99 plus shipping. Not a bad score at all for a $100 lot of of 8-track tapes. I, I will never complain about turning, you know, $100 into what looks to be like we're going to get a, a total of maybe $1,000 out of it. That's, that's a pretty good score once we sell all those tapes. Next item that I've got, Juicy Couture. Uh, it's in my L4 bin. So this is my Perfume Colognes that I picked up. I believe it's this guy here. And as you can see, these were all testers. Um, they came with the bases, and we haven't found, we did not find a good way. It's unfortunate because these could ship for cheaper. But uh, we couldn't find a good way to take these bases off. And that's why we ship them with the bases as they are. You see that one there sold for $39.95 plus shipping. I essentially have a little over $2 a piece into these. I bought 47 of them for $100. And that was another great score there. 
My last item is a Radio Shack microphone, a gooseneck dy dynamic microphone over in my D3 bin. We'll go pull that here. Do do do. And a little dark back here, so forgive me. I might have to dig and put you down. I don't know. Ooh, I'm seeing some goodies in here that I'm like, wow, those are cool. And I believe that's it here. I'm gonna read it so you see what it's, it's Radio Shack right there on it. Yep. <clears throat> this is one of my favorite things that I have in inventory. New kids on the block. Uh, brand new in the package. A whole bunch of wallets. I think I have that listed for like 100 bucks because it's just some a vintage cool thing to have. But this is a dynamic microphone. Something that you would you know plug a, a regular cable into. Microphone cable and then um, have it sitting on a desktop or something along those lines. It is a vintage piece. Uh, sold for $16.99 plus shipping. So overall, not bad at all. I did want you guys to take a, a minute to go take a look at my Bolo video because that is some really good information, I believe, about 8-track tapes and how to look through the 8-track tapes. A lot of people ask, you know, are 8-tracks worth buying? And for the most part, no, absolutely not. Don't mess with 8-tracks at all. Um, popular music just isn't it wasn't what you wanted to buy. You wanted to buy the stuff that was at the fringe. And this would have been the stuff that was at the fringe. You know, Van Halen is probably a little bit on the heavy side for the early 80s. So that's why those were um, those were more expensive. Adamant was, you know, a progressive kind of alternative rock kind of deal at the beginning of the 80s. Some weird stuff like Devo and, and things along those lines. So that's why those are a little bit more expensive than the other ones. But overall, not a bad weekend of sales. 600 and some odd dollars. Um, Going to get this stuff packed up, get it shipped out today. Easy packers. You know, this is my hardest one to pack. And this will probably go in a 12-12-6 or I think I have a 12-12-8 from the post office. Easy to ship it, nothing hard, uh, have all that stuff done. We did have a couple of sales of car parts over the weekend that were cash in hand, um, and yard sales are starting up. For us in Cincinnati, it's it's cold in the morning. Um, it's getting up today, will be 70 degrees. So this is an abnormally warm day. We should be in the mid-50s, I think, low 50s, mid-50s, something along those lines. So it's cold in the mornings on the weekend. And when it is warm, it seems like we've been getting some serious weather. Uh, when last Saturday, Friday, excuse me, last Friday, we got like three inches of rain in one day and it flooded everything. It flooded my music barn. And this was my first experience with reselling out of the music barn. And I'm glad that we got out of there because it flooded like crazy. It ruined some of the stuff that we didn't get out and is still in um, our pending death pile inventory. So had to deal with that. And, you know, that's why we haven't gotten big in the yard sale season just yet. I did get my tickets over the weekend for the reseller rally. That is September the 30th. My friend John, uh, the common or Commonwealth picker. I've, I've got Kevin on in the background, so that's why I've got Commonwealth <clears throat> in my brain. But my friend John, Cincinnati picker, um, is putting that event on with, I believe, with Kevin, actually. So uh, maybe I'll put something together and, and have a yard sale here the Saturday morning before. I don't know. Well, we haven't really decided. Uh, September 30th is late in the season. So if it's warm, maybe I'll go out and, and set some stuff up and, you know, get some of my lingering inventory out into a yard sale and see what we have. But uh, that's all I've got for now. I'm going to get back to work, actually do something today. And, uh, you know, let me know what you think. As always, <clears throat> hit the bell, subscribe, comment, do all that crazy stuff. I love to hear from you and see what you have to say. Tell me what you think about the 8-tracks because I, I'm, I'm floored. I'm still just blown away. This is super cool stuff for me because I love music. So tell me what you think about the 8-tracks. Uh, remember to share and hit the bell, all that good stuff. But until we get another video out, I will see you on the next one.